So Elon Musk, obviously very big influencer in the world right now. And now he's taking on the RV sector with the Starlink satellite system. Uh, great features and great capability. And like I said before, this is gonna be the future of all caravanning in the next two to five years. Why Starlink and, and what's really cool about it is basically this system here is going to be all the internet that you ever need. So you can do away with your, your sat dish on your roof to get any TV channel. You'll be able to hook in via satellite TV via this system. You can get unlimited uh, internet anywhere in Australia. Currently the coverage is not quite there yet but um, it's said to be in most areas of Australia at the moment. Uh, and then the most awesome feature of this, I think, is the actual internet speed. So we've been reporting that there's a, a lot of people that can get speeds of up to 250 megabits a second. So you can easily go online uh, and visit uh, the Starlink website and you can see the purchase prices on there. So um, we're not going to charge any extra for that if you include it as a package uh, on your Elros caravan. So at the moment it's $924 AUD. Uh, to purchase the system and the hardware that goes along with it. You get this standard Wi-Fi 5 um, router from Starlink um, as standard equipment. You get 15 meters of cable, uh, which we'll go out and show you now um, in the van that's connected up to the satellite dish. Uh, this is the Starlink uh, satellite dish here as well. It comes with a base mount as standard. Uh, we will also have the options that you can mount it on a proprietary mount on the back of the caravan. You just need a ladder to get up and take it off when you're, um, when you're traveling on the road. But that's also going to be a good option as well. Uh, this uh, satellite system here as well, uh, it'll auto uh, find where the, where the satellite is when you first set it up. So it will move around and geographically locate uh, your location and set itself up. Uh, so this is just a speed test that we've conducted with the system online now as it is in the, the van. So the Starlink uh, router to internet speed, 150 megabits a second, and then the actual Wi-Fi speed from the iPhone to the Wi-Fi router, look at that, 615 megabits a second. You can definitely download a few movies in a short amount of time when you're out on the road for that. So we'll go through the packages right now that we offer. So package one is obviously the, the basic uh, Starlink uh, internet setup. So you'll get this Wi-Fi 5 router, you'll get all the cabling, you also get the satellite dish and the main manual board. Now you can choose to just set this up as a manual system. So your cords are gonna be everywhere and you just mount the, the dish anywhere outside the caravan where you want. There's another secondary option that we're gonna offer as a manufacturer where um, we'll buy this on your behalf, um, get it delivered to, to us at, at Elros, and then basically we'll go through the van and we'll neat and tidily um, run all the cables and set the van up. Router's gonna be in a nice overhead so it's all nice and hidden. Um, we're not exactly sure of the price that we're gonna be charging for that at the moment. Somewhere in the range of 750 to $1,000 is approximately the cost for that. Um, we'll also additionally do an option where there will be a bracket that you can uh, fit on the back of the van so you can just have it somewhere set up so you can just put the dish on the roof. That's going to be the best way to get the, the best service uh, capability out of the Starlink service um, and that's going to be good if you've got the ladder package to go on the back of the van as well. So it's a smart little mast that sits on the back of the van. You just pop it up on the roof when you're set up. When you obviously want to drive off, of course, you've got to remove that um, dish because it's not supposed to be permanently fitted uh, on the back of the van and it's an expensive unit, so you will just have to, um, have to put it back in the van for trouble. Um, but that way it offers good flexibility that if you are under trees, you can still just manually set the, the dish up outside and around the van somewhere as well. Option three is going to be a cyber security package, uh, which is going to come with this additional uh, meshed Wi-Fi 6 router. So that's actually got a bit better range capability, range of up to 300 meters from this uh, router. So you can be pretty pretty far away from the van as a base camp and still get good um, internet service and coverage. Uh, 
It's also going to come with uh, uh, an internet security package, which Caravan Internet will supply you, um, and that'll give you 12 months worth of um, internet security updates. And it also allows Caravan Internet, if you are on the road and the system's down for whatever reason and you can't get it working, Caravan Internet can simply just uh, remotely access your system and they can get in, fix all the issues that's necessary and get you back up and running really quickly. So um, that's my pick. That would be my option I'd be going for if you can um, afford that. Um, pricing is all going to be uh, determined in a short space of time with all this sort of stuff. Um, then the last um, package that's on offer is the Security Cam package. So uh, in addition to purchasing the original Starlink and this mesh Wi-Fi 6 router, you can have the... Uh, uh, internet security package which is going to give you the PoE cameras and you're going to be able to set them up on the outside of the van and you'll, you'll have your home security system there as well so you can stop anyone from uh, potentially pinching or robbing things when you're set up uh, at camp overnight. Alright so that wraps up uh, this video uh, tutorial today on what we're offering for, for Starlink internet services. If you've got any more uh, questions or queries about what we've spoken about today, um, just reach out and get in contact with the guys at Caravan Internet. Uh, I'm sure that they'll be more than happy to answer any questions or queries that you've got. I'm not an expert at this stuff, I'm just relaying the information. So uh, if you need to, to get any more advice on that, just contact them directly.